Uh, the writer made the remarks while he was addressing an event in Karnataka's Mandya on Friday. So the writer is stoking a controversy yet again with his controversial remarks. This time he claims that Lord Ram uh, used to sit with his wife Sita every afternoon and drink wine. We have that soundbite as well of uh, the writer who made these remarks while he was addressing an event in Karnataka's Mandya on Friday. Let's listen. Sita is there. Sita Madaya Bahubhyam Madhu Mairayakam. Sita is not safe to do. सीते को मधु मेरे कंबा हैंडा बना कुर्से सची अंदर हिंदर ना तन्ना हैंडे के सची देवे के कुर्सी दागे योनो कुड़ी थी दा अंत दाखले नर्मदे कला लगाओ दे ये ना वाल्मीकि की रामायण जले और राइट आप प्रज्वल जॉइनिंग अस ऑन द फोन लाइन फॉर मोर ऑन दैट प्रज्वल वी जस्ट हर्ड दैट Remark that was made by uh, K.S. Bhagwan. If you can take us through those details, uh, any reactions that have come in uh, so far from the Hindu activists uh, and leaders in Karnataka on these remarks? Uh, as of now, uh, the pro-Hindu activists have gone on to condemn this uh, remark that has uh, been made by uh, K.S. Bhagwan. But uh, this is not the first time that uh, it has been happening, Samicha, because K.S. Bhagwan uh, has uh, always uh, portrayed himself as an anti-Hindu and uh, he's also gone on to hurt uh, the sentiments of uh, Hindus on several instances. Uh, and uh, even in 2015 too, he had uh, gone on to eat uh, beef inside the premises of a temple where he had hurt the sentiments of Hindus at that point of time. And uh, recently in 2019, there was also a case booked against him where uh, the writer had uh, stoked a massive uh, controversy because uh, he had uh, gone on to state uh, that uh, Lord Rama used to consume intoxicants and he also, um, you know, he also made Sita to consume them too. And uh, he had uh, made these uh, comments in a book which was uh, penned by him uh, titled as uh, Rama Mandira Yakke Beda, meaning to say that why Ram Mandir is not needed. And uh, this particular book was uh, banned uh, for sale uh, by the Karnataka government itself at that point of time because this had uh, almost gone on to create uh, riots uh, within the communities here and had uh, destabilized the law and order as well. So such a remarks uh, coming in from uh, K.S. Bhagwan is now being condemned from all quarters of the society, mainly from uh, the pro hindu activists as well. Mm. Uh, but uh, we will have to wait in for official reactions uh, from the political parties on this too, because uh, always now uh, Sajramaya has uh, played a softball, uh, uh, soft corner for K.S. Uh, Bhagwan. And also now the other part of the history, which uh, K.S. Bhagwan is also not referring to here, where historians have spoken clearly, is that Uttarakhanda, from uh, where he is uh, reciting this uh, Samiksha, is not a part of the original Valmiki Ramayana, which was written by Valmiki, which is one of the last chapters of those Ramayana, which was not written by Valmiki, but Uttarakhanda was attached to it. So this is one argument of the historian stating that this was not written by Valmiki at all. So he cannot go on and quote this as evidence as well. So that in itself is a debate and uh, while addressing the public gathering, he's spoken about this and there was also a lot of uh, outcry at this public program and there was also uh, slogans which was cried out against uh, K.S. Bhagwan uh, at this uh, particular event in Mandya. Hmm. Uh, Prajwal, stay with us. In fact, uh, if you can uh, talk to us more about this book that's been written uh, by the writer K.S. Bhagwan in which uh, he's uh, made several of these controversial statements. Uh, take us through some of those uh, key excerpts uh, from his uh, book that he's written. Now, uh, this particular book uh, that uh, K.S. Bhagwan had written in 2019, which uh, states that, uh, you know, we, we do not want, why we do not need the Ram Mandir. This was uh, this is roughly being translated from what he's written in Canada. Mm -hmm. He had made a mention about uh, you know about uh, Ram Mandir and about Ayodhya, stating that it was not the birthplace of Ram, but many people claim to be so. So that is one. Secondly, had also spoken that because if the Ram Mandir is given a separate permission, that it will go on to create communal hatred uh, uh, between two communities as well. And uh, thirdly, he had uh, made a statement uh, in this saying that uh, you know Ra Rama was not a punyatma. 
Sharma, but uh, he himself used to consume intoxicants and he he also made Sita consume this uh, intoxicants as well. So all these were provocative statements that were made at that point of time, Samiksha. Mm -hmm. And it was a time when the issue was raging as well, and therefore the state government thought it best fit not to you know not to give permission for these books to be kept, and they all removed right. the books. Uh, from Prajwal, just hold your thought for a moment. I'll just come back to you. We have VHP's Vinod Bansal also joining us. Uh, if I can get your quick response to these remarks that have been made by a noted writer, K. S. Bhagwan, where he's quoted, uh, he says that in Balmiki Ramayana, Lord Ram used to sit with his wife and consume uh, intoxicants. Look, he shows his mindsetta. Who does the work he does? उनको लगता है कि जो हिंदू समाज के जो कैरेक्टर हैं, जो हिंदू समाज के आराध्य देवन वो भी करते थे। ये ये अपनी विकृत मानसिकता को दिखाते हैं कि अपनी माँ के बारे में, अपने पिता के बारे में किस तरह के विचार रखते हैं ये, और किस तरह की गणित सोच जो है, ये ये जो हिंदू देवी देवताओं के बारे में ये ये कोई इंटेलेक्चुअल नहीं है, ये इंटेलेक्ट के दुश्मन हैं। They are the enemy of the intellectuality। ये ऐसे लोगों को समाज बेस्का कर रहा है, धीरे-धीरे करके ये सब अपने आप में outdated हो जाएंगे। और इनकी जो मानसिकता है, ये अब स्थिति वो हो गई है कि जैसे जब रावण कांत समा रहा था, तो राम राम चिल्ला रहा था। लेकिन वो तो कम से कम � उस कांग्रेस की कोक में से जन्मे जो सेक्युलर ब्रिगेड थे, वो सेक्युलर ब्रिगेड ने इनको बढ़ाया, चढ़ाया और हिंदू द्रोही तैयार करके और मार्केट में छोड़ दिया। बेसिकली ऐसे लोगों को जुटों के अलावा कुछ नहीं पढ़ना चाहिए। ये इनके मानसिकता को दर्शाता है कि किस तरह की भाषा का प्रयोग कर रहे ऐसे लोगों का सारा दिन एक व्यवस्था होना चाहिए, इनके इनके समाज के द्वारा भी होना चाहिए, जहां ये रहते हैं वहां पर भी होना चाहिए। ऐसे लोगों के बारे में ये कोई किसी को क्लारिफिकेशन देने की जरूरत नहीं है कि राम क्या थे, माता शीता क्या थी, ये दुष्ट प्रवृत्ति के लोग हैं, जो अपनी विकृत Okay, stay with us. Yes. All right. So VHP leader Vinod Bansal saying that uh, such remarks uh, reflect the mindset of people. Uh, we have Karnataka BJP leader Vivek Reddy also joining us. If I can get your reaction as well. Uh, the noted uh, writer here, K.S. Bhagwan, who says that in Valmiki Ramayana, Lord Ram used to sit with his wife Sita and uh, used to consume intoxicants. This is uh, an attack of the most uh, vulgar and cheap kind. It shows the cheap status of the mindset of uh, Mr. Bhagawan. Mr. Bhagawan has been known to have done this several times earlier. This is not the first time. I think there must be some form of a, apart from booking cases, criminal cases, there must be some sort of a social boycott against him. I don't think this sort of a thing can be permitted. If this had happened in any other country, mm. this is the, this is the this is what, uh, what he would have faced would be something very different. India is a very tolerant country, but we can't tolerate the shaming of our gods. We can't tolerate the insult to our gods. I don't think uh, we can accept this even with the greatest patience or the greatest tolerance. There is a limit to everything. I request that the government takes serious action against him and puts him behind bars for having stoked uh, communal infuriation against uh, the gods of okay. Hindus. All right, we we'll leave it at that. Yes.